Good morning, people. Morning. She always does this. Caught on camera, abuse. Good morning, everybody. It is a lovely day outside, except it's rain. Um, top touch my arsehole. So, the agenda for today has changed. I was going to be doing the Q and A, and then I got a few comments saying do a Q and A and a vlog. So all this shit. So I'm going to vlog today and then do a Q and A um, in whatever way suits me or whatever way I think. And uh, at the moment, I don't care about your video. I'm making a video. So fuck your video, because I'm making a video. So you can watch my video when it's made. Up. Uh, I finished work this morning at like six, so I've been pretty tired. I'm gonna go have a shower, get ready for my day, try and get this video sort of half done, and then see if we can edit some of it and get it uploaded, and then, yeah, I don't even know how this day's gonna work. Will and Jay are coming over. They're gonna join us today, so that'll be something interesting. And she always watched her video really fucking loudly. Headphones, see you there. Let's start our day. Guys, uh, so we're doing the Q and A part of the vlog now. Um, well, I am, yeah. Cause she's not going to get involved. Uh, I've got, I've got about Jay, six. He's vlogging. Hello, Jay's oh, walked in. No. Oh my God, so I've got, <laughs> I've got about six questions from Facebook and Twitter. Uh, they're from different people. I'm not actually going to read the names out because some of them didn't leave a name. Some of them, some of them are anonymous, so I'm going to leave the names out on some of those. Um, <laughs> fuck off. <Who's> <laughs> Chloe. Chloe. You in a vlog? Do it. Get my face out, though. You look fucking ugly. Piss me off a little bit. <laughs> so, first question is why I started YouTube. Uh, it's a bit of a long question, so I'm going to answer it quickly because I don't really want to get involved. Basically, when I was uh, a bit younger, because I've had quite a few YouTube channels, if you haven't known, but I've had like. The first YouTube channel I had was called the Yumi4, uh, hence the username on my Twitter. Uh, that's probably back from like 2009. Uh, when I was a kid and basically all that was for is I got a camera for my birthday and decided to start like making videos and try to do this green screen stuff and just got quite like weird ideas and make things learning how to edit it people took the piss out of me massively then because the videos I used to make were so fucking stupid like they would be completely pointless and really silly or basically just making me look like a complete cunt I can't put that in the vlog can I? Yeah, I can put yeah, it in. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can put it in. So, that was the first YouTube channel I had. Then I moved on to something called the MTY Productions. Uh, MTY standard to, stood for Movies to You, which is when I got a little bit better at editing. Started making like short skits, uh, little videos like that, how to videos as well. Loads of stuff like that, basically. Um, it all came down to the fact I still wanted to learn to edit and I just wanted someone to put something so people could comment and say what they thought. The MTY Productions got to like. Um, like about a thousand subscribers and then I cancelled the account because I basically got bullied the shit out of in school uh, for that so I deleted that channel then a few years later I started BMXing, uh, riding bikes, you know, doing all that stuff going to, we went to Cornwall on a BMX trip there uh, then I started a YouTube account called BMX Toolbox that's still online, you can go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out it's basically all my videos of me riding, my friends riding made a lot of edits and short film sort of style things where they were like cinematic and I got a little bit better at editing, got a nicer camera ended up filming the DSLR then um, I really enjoyed that style of it because I was loving what I was doing both ways I was making the edits, people were respecting what I was doing Sorry Tom You good? <laughs> <laughs> then that moves me on to this one, Poco Vlogs which is when I wanted to start making videos again but I haven't ridden BMX in a while so I thought I'd do have more of a vlog style uh, instead of filming it for a specific purpose. Jay's walked out the room. 
<laughs> so yeah, that had more of a, this, this channel has had more of a um, sort of personal outlet on that. It showed me what um, I can do with just making personal vlogs. Jesus, Jay. Get to this point, so why I started YouTube was basically to learn to edit. Uh, I, I fell in love with like filming and editing and uh, from then on I just sort of wanted to do it. But I always had really shit like computers to edit with and bad cameras and it always went wrong. And now I'm at a point where I've actually got a decent setup so I can make the edits. Will, do you want to say hello? He's peeping on the video. Come say hello. I wasn't in your come, last fucking come, come ah! you, He got up. Oh, you stink! Will got upset that he wasn't in the last vlog so we got him in this vlog. Anything you want to say? Shout out to any of your um, non-existent girlfriends. The story of my life really. You want to shout out to Grace? No. Did Grace watch my videos? No. You, 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 I'm going to send her a link. Part. No. So you, I don't. You can I don't give me a link. No. I'll send her a link. Shout no. out to Grace for being a complete no. legend. No. Um, no. <laughs> so yeah. And you fucked it. You fucked the bond. <laughs> That's actually quite well linked into the next question. What I used to edit and why. Um, this was posted by someone on Facebook. They asked me the question. Uh, my editing program I use, I've just recently converted over to Adobe Premiere Pro uh, CS6. Um, the reason I've done that is because it's, it's got a lot more like flexibility when it comes to filming and editing. So I was using a program called PowerDirector, which actually worked really well for when I had a low end sort of system that I couldn't edit on. Because um, it was quite a, sort of, it didn't really take up a lot of like, RAM usage and all that stuff. So it's a really good program for the price I paid for it as well. I did, I did buy it, uh, it was about 80 or 70, 80 quid, kind of like that. But for the, for, the, for the amount of work I got out of it, I, I wouldn't complain. It was a brilliant editor. It's great to start off with. Premiere is a little bit more in depth. A little bit more manual if you want to like if you think of it that way. Uh, Power Director was more like a sort of click and point shoot sort of drag and drop style thing. I really enjoyed it. It was really easy to use, and it taught me a lot of basic concepts when it comes to video editing. So Premiere Pro is what I use now, uh, and I use it because it's fucking awesome. Um, if you need any help getting hold of Premiere Pro, if you want to get hold of it, send me a message and I'll help you out. I've got a couple of files I can help you out with unofficially, so don't don't be getting me banned off YouTube. But yeah. Um, the camera I use is the Sony HX80. If you haven't seen the video where I've just started using it, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description to that or on the page or on the screen somewhere. Um, the Sony HX80 is actually re it's probably my favourite camera I've had. I've, I've used DSLRs, I've used full fledged like movie cameras and, and all that stuff. And you know, they all come with this overwhelming headache when you're trying to film something. You know, you want to you see something nice, you want to point your camera and shoot it, but you've got to fuck around with the aperture, you've got to mess around with the shutter speed, and you've got to fuck around with like getting it all right so you can get the shot to not look like a washed out piece of shit. With this camera, all you do is you point it and you shoot it and it works. And that, that is brilliant for vlogging because Watch vlogging- Watch your profanity. Fuck off. <laughs> but vlogging isn't about having these crazy shots. It's not about um, making it hard for yourself to make get a shot right. You're not filming a feature film. You don't need to worry about everything. You can do a lot of it in post as well. Um, so using the HX80 is actually brilliant because you just point it and you shoot it and it works and you can you can mess around with certain features like the aperture and the shutter speed if you want to. That's great. So the flexibility on this is amazing and for the price, unbelievable. Advice on new vloggers. This comes from my Twitter. It was from an anonymous account, so I don't know who sent it in. But brilliant question. Advice on new vloggers because I'm fairly new to this as well. So we're sort of moving along at the same speed. But I've obviously had a background in editing, had a background in filming videography and cinematics so I kind of know the basics around what we're doing but the vlogging shit walking around town with a camera pointing at your face and not feeling awkward it's something I think takes time to get over because I still feel funny even now I'm in a, I'm in a room just my flat with friends and a girlfriend and I still feel a little bit awkward um, because I'm just sitting there talking to a camera and it makes me feel like a little bit of a twat but you know you got to see past that and you got you got to just ignore what people think. If someone comes up to you and goes, oh, here's that kid who films YouTube videos and takes a piss and all his mates laugh and blah, 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 and you're on your own, just fucking laugh at them, you know? Because all you're doing is you're, you're, you're setting up for when in 10 years' time, even if you don't make it on YouTube, you might then have kids and you might want to show them what you were up to when you were younger and what you used to do. And, they, you know, it's quite interesting to, have, to be able to look back and have that insight on your life beforehand and see how far you've come or what you've changed. So, yeah, advice to new vloggers, just don't give a fuck is the main key um, and enjoy what you're doing don't vlog to make money don't vlog to become famous vlog because you want to correct yourself and make yourself better at editing make yourself better at uh, using a camera because these are all skills you can <coughs> take away and use in the work life as well so yeah just don't care I mean you, you're taking away skills that other people won't take away so just just enjoy what you're doing spend the hours on the editing sit there and tweak it so it looks perfect for you really enjoy it and if you're not enjoying the editing you're not enjoying the filming then you're not doing vlogging right um, 
if you, obviously it's hard when you start because obviously most people in the real world haven't got a lot of money to spend on a computer, haven't got a lot of money to spend on the camera. But I started this channel with just an iPhone. So, um, for the fact that most people do have a smartphone, it's not all about what it looks like. A lot of it is the content, a lot of it is the personality, a lot of it is about how you display yourself online. And a lot of people will subscribe to channels that are just funny, no matter what. I mean, you see these vines and all that, they get millions of views. And they're filmed on phones, so there's, there's no reason that a vlog channel can't do well just by having a funny personality behind it. Uh, hobbies. Someone has asked me what my hobbies are. As for the moment, I'm working a lot. I do night shifts at the hospital, so uh, in security. So I don't really have a lot of time to have hobbies so, so much. I wake up usually about 3 in the afternoon after a night shift. feel completely shattered, don't want to do anything. I barely even wanted to make this video today because I was tired and didn't have time. Um, but you know, made myself do it, so I wanted to get it out there and I promised you guys I'd have a video for you today. Um, but hobbies, I have basically spent the last six years, seven years of my life riding BMX and that was it. I didn't know anything else. I basically flunked college and school because of BMXing and uh, it was basically like everything I did on a daily basis and I, I didn't really want to sort of dive into anything else because I've never been a sports person, I've never liked football, I've never got into like, anything like that. One day I started BMX and I just loved it and I got on with it and seven years later I've stopped riding BMX now, uh, possibly temporarily, I don't know, it depends on my future outgrow and what happens, um, but hobbies at the moment is basically just editing, filming these vlogs uh, and actually just trying to like, say like enjoy what's going on at the moment because I don't get a lot of time to like go out and do things, you know, by the time I wake up the sun's going to sleep so it's just like brilliant, you know. Um, hobbies, I, I'd say vaping. <laughs> It's a Sunday, so this is a good question. Someone put, uh, what's your favourite movie to rewatch on a Sunday, a lazy Sunday, and why? My favourite movie to watch on a lazy Sunday is a very good question, because I watch a lot of films, we spend a lot of time on watching like Netflix and that, and uh, living with your girlfriend, you don't really have a choice in what you watch. Um, I will happily lay in bed and watch the film, but the film I will rewatch and watch, watch, watch again. Uh, is Casino. Um, if you don't know what that film is, it's an amazing. It's, it's honestly. No, not Casino Royale. No, no James Bond. Mm. It's called Casino. It's uh, it's, it's got amazing uh, loads of actors in it. It's a gangster film. It's about um, oh, these Vegas sort of guys and they, uh, these American guys that go out to Vegas and they uh, they pretty much just dominate <coughs> these casinos and make loads of money and they use them to launder money and those are crazy shit. But it's a really good film. It's well made. The cinematics in it are amazing. It's a proper old like American gangster sort of film and uh, I could rewatch that every day of my life and probably never get bored because every time I watch it I see new things, I notice new things and I think the, the actual thing that makes it is the, the comedy, the dry comedy in it that's like in there um, certain times the kind of the characters say things that are really horrible but hilarious at the same time and that's my sort of film, I always I like comedy films, I like light hearted films but the, the real films I really get into and I really enjoy the, the old sort of style films where they've actually spent real, real amount of hours with real professionals and a mastermind of making film to make a film. So that's basically all the questions I've got for you today. Um, I don't know what else to say, I don't know how this goes, but yeah, the Q&A. So I, I wanted to try it out because no one's ever done like, I've never done one before properly. And uh, <coughs> it was nice to see what you guys sent in, so cheers for the comments. And uh, if you want to see another one, hit that thumbs up button. Send, send a comment in the comment box below and tell me that you want to see another one or with your different questions because obviously I'm happy to answer any questions. So, as we go, I've got a question. You've got a question, go. God, can we make a film or are we doing any more challenges? <clears throat> We're doing more challenges. We're always going to do more challenges, more films, more, more, more interesting content. We're just going to try and make more time for it. At the moment it's been a bit tight so obviously these, these, these videos are good to go up to keep the channel active. <laughs> what about, um, <laughs> we spent Christmas Day in your wardrobe. Christmas Day I'm probably working. Uh, thanks for sending any questions guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button because uh, it's always really helpful um, and uh, if I could say um, um a few more times it would be great. So yeah, <laughs> hit that like button, really helps and make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure you turn your bell notifications on otherwise I'll come to your house and I'll murder your whole family. <laughs>